Um, so when we think about how SOU is working and essentially it's overdriving fatty acid oxidation. Um, so it's really kind of kicking that into gear. Um, if we have something like, um, uh, and I've mentioned it before, I love the Lumen device, just as a quick, easy thing you can blow into and seeing if we've got a lot of beta oxidation going on between like that one and two, or if we're using a lot of glucose, like five. Um, what we'd obviously hope to see is like a two to a three, shows really good metabolic flexibility. And it's also going to depend on the time of the day uh, that you measure that. So for example, post-workout resynthesizing glucose, we'd expect to see uh, more glucose reflected in the, um, the readout you're going to get there. Um, fasting in the morning, we would expect to see um, pretty steady stream of like ones and maybe a two here and there, but primarily ones. And with uh, blood sugar readings, uh, same kind of thing we'd expect good postperennial glucose response. So um, maybe a, a quicker return uh, to baseline if we're doing like a CGM. But I really, in terms of, I, I think the most uh, accurate way you're going to measure these things are going to be with like breath analysis. So like anything from uh, Pinoy, if you have access to one, or like a simple Lumen, um, or there's a, I think it's called Caliber, the a uh, little uh, VO2 max thing that hooks up to your cell phone. A um, couple of them out there. And then just just body fat. So then um, th this kind of comes back to the original question, you know, where do we go on dose? 